welcome to the first unit of typography that works. What we're going to do is look at some sans-serif type families and then explore grids and alignment as fundamental ways to put type together. So here are some typefaces you'll want to get to know, and we'll look at a few of them. This is Futura, designed in 1927, and it was really intended to create a whole palette of dark and light that designers could work with on the page very much a typeface of its time. Gil Sons was designed in 1928 and was deliberately a counterpoint to Futura. Uh, designed by Eric Gill, it was inspired by the famous London Underground alphabet. And what Gill wanted to do was create a more humanistic version of sans serif letters. So if you compare the lowercase a there, you can see the perfect circle at the heart of Futura and this more Renaissance A in Gil Sans, and that gives these two typefaces a very different personality. Switzerland is famous for its sans serif typefaces. There's Universe from 1957, designed to be again a grid of light and dark, thick and thin, a palette of material for the designer to work with. Helvetica came along in 1957 and became really one of the world's most famous and popular typefaces. Helvetica Noia from 1983 is a version of Helvetica that's been precisely numbered and designed to give the designer this kind of perfect palette of, of light and dark. And that's really what we're looking for in a sans serif uh, typeface. And of course, designers never stop, um, and every year and every decade, there's new sans serif typefaces to work with, um, each one um, providing something, something new and different for designers. Um, so a really famous one is Gotham, designed by Tobias Frere Jones. You'll know it from Obama. It's really become a symbol of change and a symbol of America. And in fact, it is inspired by American commercial signage, like the lettering you see here. So why do we need so many typefaces? Uh, one reason is to avoid type crimes like this. This is where a designer has scaled the letters in, in one direction and not the other, and it makes these really ugly, mismatched line weights. So find yourself a nice big family that has all the weights and, and thicknesses that you want, and you'll be able to make some beautiful typography.